I'd like to talk for a few minutes today about uh, LCVs or long combination vehicles. The ministry here in Ontario and uh, on other ministries across Canada support the use of these long combination vehicles. Basically what this is are 253 foot trailers hooked one behind the other and they run down the road that way. The MTO likes them because uh, they generate lots of revenue for the shippers and receivers and they're environmentally friendly. Well that's that's all nice however I thought the ministry's priority would be uh, would be safety rather than revenue for the shippers and the receivers. They've made lots of promises about the LCVs and how these will be governed and regulated. Uh, they say they'll only be dispatched in certain weather conditions and with the safest of drivers. Lots of promises that, that we would expect to hear. And when I heard some of these promises, I thought about the promises they made when they, when they allowed 53-footers. Uh, first, they promised that the 53-footers would only carry light loads. Well, we know how long that lasted. And then they said, well, if we have to put heavy loads on the 53-footers, we'll only load the first 48 feet. And that lasted until the shippers screamed and wanted to use the whole trailer and then that went out the window. They said, oh, the rates, the freight rates will be higher because there's an extra five feet of trailer. Well, that lasted about six months. And then the, the full rate became the full rate for 53s and they didn't load 48s anymore. So I expect the promises with these LCVs will go pretty much the same way. And in fact, uh, the promise that these things would be dispatched only in in ideal weather conditions has already gone out the window. I've seen these things out in Western Canada in blinding snowstorms and crosswinds and, and they're still running. You, you'd think that, that common sense would dictate uh, the parking of these units in particularly bad weather. The ministry says that uh, they regulate the uh, weight distribution by ensuring that the uh, the lead trailer is loaded more heavily than the than the back trailer. However, these things aren't required to go into scales. So I don't know how they regulate that. And the reason they don't go into scales is because they can't maneuver safely through them. There aren't there isn't enough room. So if there's no room in the scales, how can there be room on the streets and highways? Uh, the drivers I can't understand that angle either. For a few pennies more, they're willing to double, double the risk to the driving public and double their own liability. Uh, these things can't get off the road if they run into bad weather. There's simply, simply not enough room for them in most spots, so they pull to the shoulder and they hope the shoulder's wide enough. Well, I've had a few LCV drivers tell me, oh no, they're safe. Well, in bad weather conditions, when these things pull to the side of the road and they find a partial shoulder, maybe the LCV driver feels safe. But the traffic coming up behind this thing in a blinding snowstorm, I'm sure they don't feel too safe. Uh, the LCV drivers uh, say they're, they're just a safe vehicle to operate. Now, on snowy roads, we all know that if you look in the mirror, the lead trailer is kicking up snow off the, off the back axles and often you can't see behind the trailer. So with two of these units, one behind the other, with the lead unit kicking up snow, you can't see the left lane or the passing lane. These guys can't possibly see a small car trying to pass in the left lane when, when you can't see the left lane for snow. So how can that be safe? I don't support these things. I, I can't believe that once again revenue has trumped safety.